on YouTube. I feel like an eternity since I've been out. Last camp was at uh, Brecon Beacons, so uh, it's a bit better weather today. I'm back on Dartmoor and I'm going somewhere I've not been before. So it's a bit of a trek. I've got just under five miles I think it is before I get there. And the going is looking a bit rough. It's not the easiest path. Um, I'm also going to be testing out a few new bits of kit tonight. Which should be interesting. All camping related, of course. Uh, but the first one is this. So this is the uh, TechWatch 3 Ultra GPS, which has been sent out to me uh, by TechWatch Mobvoi. I've um, been using it over the weekend and I'm completely new to smartwatches uh, as such. So this isn't going to be an experienced review of it, but I think from a plus perspective, it just shows how easy it is for a, an idiot to use. Um, so basically it's one of these ones where motion turns it on uh, and you can also see your notifications and scroll through them. Um, the main reason why I was after this was for its GPS capabilities and to be able to use maps, which obviously is going to appeal to anyone who's doing this sort of uh, camping, while camping, using GPS maps. And I use it on my phone and I find it a bit of a pain. Um, so that's what sort of really got me into wanting to do this. Uh, so basically you've got a myriad of screens that you can choose from, loads of different options. I'll go through them briefly now, I'll do some more later on. Um, but you press this button here, it takes you into all of your different apps. So you've got tick health, exercise, sleep, pulse. So this will measure your um, oxygen percentage, um, it'll measure your pulse rate, it measures your stress levels. Um, it can tell you when to take a break, when to breathe. There's even breathing exercises on here as well. Um, heart monitor, you got your normal things like agenda, so this takes you into your your diary system. Uh, alarm, calculator, camera, I haven't quite got that many to get that to work with my phone camera, uh, but you can link it to your phone and use it to take pictures remotely. Obviously contacts, um, essentials, so that tells you, well, you can set time frames for only the essentials to work on the watch. So for example, if you were uh, sleeping you don't want to have loads of notifications going off all the time then you can set time frames for when it turns off and then and then turns back on again oops sinking in the mud there you got to find my phone so that will ring your your mobile um, you got fit goals you can set goals and uh, there's your breathe monitor um, heart rate pulse you got fit workout so you can Google Fit, you can make the most of those and measure it and you can also um, link it with other people so they can see what you're doing and how well you're doing. Google Pay, so you've got your wallet, so you can link your phone to your um, online account and pay for it using the phone. you then got the Mobvoi, which is your system set up, so again you can link with other people. Google Maps, now I downloaded OS Maps and Outdoor Active. Outdoor Active I generally tend to use and often go um, OS Maps. I can't seem to get the map system to work with OS. It gives you directions, but not an actual map. Um, so I'm using my outdoor active. What will be interesting to see is how long the actual battery lasts while using this. But I'll skim through these. You've got your Play Store, so you can get app, uh, different apps you want to download. Uh, phone reminders, settings, timer, stopwatch, torch. I'll show you that later on tonight. It's pretty good. You've got Google Translate. You've got voice notes as well, so you can make voice messages. Um, and then weather. Uh, and then you've got one main button that just takes you back to the main screen or into your apps and then you've got a fast one here which takes you straight into your favourite so you can program that which is what I've got on here at the moment with Outdoor Active so this currently shows where I am you can zoom in or zoom out and then you can have it so that it just shows you distance where you're going and as you can see here just under six kilometres remaining roughly one and a half hour you can stop it or pause it, or you can just have it on map. Now I've been using this watch over the weekend because obviously it's new. It's a toy, so you play with it quite a lot. Um, so I'll be interested to see how well the battery works because apparently GPS causes one of the biggest drains on battery. And I've got a six kilometer, so about four and a half mile walk to my campsite and then back again. Uh, so that should give a good test of it. Now, using it over the weekend, um, as I say, I was playing with it quite a lot, 
Oh God, this is like a cattle path. So uh, yeah, I was using it quite a lot. Just testing things out, downloading apps, trying different things, seeing what could, what did work and what didn't. Um, and two full days of solid use after a full charge, I had about 25% left. So it's pretty good. Uh, I think it takes three hours to charge. Um, but it's got a little magnetic charger, which works really well. It just snaps onto it. So I put that on overnight. I did want to try the, uh, the sleep app because it tells you how much quality sleep you get and how deep your sleep is. And you can also set your alarms so it's linked to your sleep. So if you are close to your wake up time and the watch senses that you're in light sleep, it'll wake you up then because it'll be a nicer awakening as opposed to deep sleep that you might be in 15 minutes later. But I'll test it tonight. See if it can tell with my sporadic camping sleeps. So yeah, I'm gonna use the GPS today, see how long that lasts. And tomorrow on the way back, give it a good test. So unfair. I don't even see that, but heart rate is still 76. It's not too bad for a fat knacker like me. So the uh, GPS tracking seems to work pretty well. It's kept me on route. A couple of times I've deviated, but uh, it works and it's got me back. So yeah, I'm quite, uh, quite impressed with this. I think this retails at about 290 pounds. I know that some of the Garmin's are around sort of five, 600 pounds. I don't know how equivalent they are in comparison to this um, for the specifications and options and what they do. But yeah, this seems to work really well. As soon as I raise it, it pops back up onto my map and I can see exactly where I'm going without having to get my phone out or anything else. Chuffed. So going back to the TIG watch, um, when you're not using it and you're not moving your hand towards you, it stays dark. You can still see the time on there. You probably can't see it on the camera, but you can just make out the time. This is 2017, so it has like a, a glow backlight. You can change the color of that as well if you want. Um, but it's a bit of a snitch because um, you'll see on here probably that uh, I've only done seven and a half thousand steps. I didn't do my whole trip tonight. I stopped it short because it was taking so long. Sun was going down um, and I didn't want to spend two hours hiking. Um, but I did use it. Um, the actual map system worked really, really well. The yeah, um, outdoor active. So I was very happy with this. Um, You've got on here, you've got my routes recently viewed and downloaded, so you can download them onto the phone, onto the, the watch itself. Um, so that way it's always on here. The GPS is very, very accurate. Um, it got me here, and weirdly, it got me back to where I found water so accurately that I found my microphone cover that's fallen off of my <laughs> off of my GoPro. So, uh, yeah, I was quite chuffed with that. That saved me a bit of money, although I have lost the, um, the wind muff on my actual... Um, road wireless go mic, so that's annoying. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a really simple little watch. I so say you can you can change the the watch face. So if you go into here, go into settings, you got display, and you got change your watch face. So you've got options of loads of different types of watch faces. You can download some as well, so you can have different types of um, ones from the app, actual app on your phone. Uh, so you have the option to do that. I managed to lose my favourite watch face, so there you go, that's the one that that I had on before. Now, battery is down to 60%, so that's used up a fair bit on the GPS, uh, so I think this will probably be fine for one long hike to camp and back. Um, but saying that I've had it on so that all my notifications come through here um, it shows absolutely everything I've got all of the normal stuff that you would have constantly active on here which you don't have to simply because I've been playing with it and it's just fun um, so go, yeah, going through the options on here you've got tick health which shows you how much time you've been active how many steps you've done um, you got tick exercise. So in here you've got a million exercises, cycling, indoor cycling, 
archery, arm curls, arm press, back stretches. So there's loads of things and it gives you instructions on them when you go through them. Um, notification, just got an email come through. So I say all my notifications are on all the time. So this is now measuring my heart rate. It shows my highest there, which was 117 during that hike. Beats per minute, so it's just measuring it now, see what it is. So I reckon it'll probably be around the 89, 90 mark. A bit higher than it should be, possibly. Ooh, 106. And that's his fat burn. Or does it say fat bum? <laughs> I definitely haven't got one of those. Um, tick sleep, so this, this can measure your, your quality of sleep. So um, it will monitor you while you're asleep, and it will tell you how much uh, how much decent sleep you've had, uh, and also it will measure your blood pressure levels, your oxygen levels, and everything as as well. So um, tick oxygen. So this will measure your your O2 percentage on your body, your saturation. Got to be high 90%, 95, 97 maybe. 97, that's not a bad guess. Normal. Tick breathe. So this um, is to relax you, to lower your stress levels. So it just shows you how long to breathe in for, how long to breathe out for. Inhale. It vibrates, and then exhale. So if you're doing a bit of uh, a bit of Zen, a bit of yoga, a um, bit of mindfulness, it's pretty good. And then there's your usual options on here for other things, wallet, and what have you. So Google Maps. Let's see how well this works at the moment because I've not got the best signal. There you go. So it's picked up where I am. Obviously, you can't see anything because I'm on the middle of Dartmoor. Now, OS Maps, so I can get into OS Maps, I can start a walk, a hike, a run, off-road, horse road, horse, horse ride, pedal or whatever, um, but it, it doesn't seem to link to my OS Maps on my phone, um, so I can't, I can't seem to pull a route from it, and I'm not too sure why, so I'm going to have a bit more of a play with that, um, but the outdoor, outdoor active map, this works extremely well, very, very well. There's my coordinates and my current elevation, 360 meters. Just go straight onto the map so I can see where I am now. And you can you can zoom in. It's a bit touch sensitive. You can zoom in by pulling down and zoom out by pushing up. Or occasionally knock it out as well. And then, yeah, phone, got a stopwatch, torch. So if I switch the light off in here, I've got a torch, which will give me a light enough to read by. It doesn't really pick it up so well on the GoPro, but you have a torch as well. So Google Translate and weather. So it's showing you we've got higher 13, a low of three degrees, low chance of precipitation. And it's got your temperatures throughout the night. And that takes you back to the main screen. So it gives a good display on here. So I can see the current temperature now, how many steps I've done, time, date, and battery power. And then the shortcut button takes me straight to Outdoor Active because I've set that as a quick shortcut. Um, obviously this is waterproof, so you can actually swim with this watch on, but you often get water stuck in the, um, the little speaker ports there at the side. Um, but there is a system on this watch, which I'll show you a little video of it now. Basically you set a tone on it, there is a button that you press where um, it emits a particular different types of pitches of tone, uh, and it vibrates and shoots all the water out of the uh, speaker port. 
Actually, I'm pretty impressed with this watch. I want to thank uh, TickWatch for sending it out to me. Um, if you do want to buy it, I'll put a link in the description below, as always. Um, and I think, yeah, £289 you can get it on uh, on Amazon for, so I'll put a link in there if you are considering buying something like this. So this is my first foray into the sort of smartwatch world, uh, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm actually enjoying it more than what I thought I was going to, uh, and it's worked really well on this hike. So it's very handy. I've got to keep taking my phone out of my pocket. I literally lift my watch up. It comes straight onto the map where I was, and I can see exactly where I am. Put my watch away. Fine. Done.